Hello, welcome to my 38 weeks vlog. So today is Monday, April 27th and I'm 38 weeks pregnant, which means there's 14 days left until my due date. We have my OB appointment tomorrow, of course, every week. And so we'll get a checkup from that. Um, today, got dressed, obviously, looking cute as always no makeup because who has time for that in core and put on this cute dress although to be honest i had to stuff myself i could not button like you can see <laughs> the buttons didn't want to button today we're gonna be doing like a fry fast and we just did a bunch of grocery shopping and we're just gonna fry up a bunch of delicious food so we're really excited for that it's gonna be really delicious starting our week off in a fun way <laughs> although what is the start and end of weeks these days another thing we did yesterday christian's mom and her fiance trevor gifted us this awesome like rocking chair thing for the baby like not like a rocking chair but like a little swing a rocking swing and so christian finally put that together yesterday and it's so cute so let me just add those clips in <laughs> So Christian's about to build. I'm gonna zoom in. It's one of these things. So it's like a rocker for the baby. And we put the baby in it and you know it soothes them and we don't have to hold them the whole time. We've had it for like a week now. Alright, he has headphones on, he can't hear me. But anyway, excited to see how it turns out. I literally just went to make a snack for us and Christian has it like 99% done. You're amazing. Wow. Oh, it's so cute. So just batteries? Yeah, I just need to find some batteries. Somewhere. I have batteries. It depends what, what size. The big ass square ones. Nope, I don't got those. <laughs> so Christian just plugged it in and it's working. So we don't necessarily need the batteries. It's if we want to move it around. But oh my gosh. Aww. Is that an owl? Is that a fox? Wow, on theme. Wow, with our fox pictures and the owl bassinet. It's so cute. Oh, did you turn it the other way? I love it. How do you like it? It's really cute. Here is our cute little baby rocking swing. Oh, I love it. Look at the cute little mobile. Oh. But anyway, yeah, week is off to a pretty, the week is off to a good start. Uh, I'm just getting more and more tired. Actually, last night I did not sleep well at all. I would say it's like one of my worst nights of sleeping. I probably got like two, three hours. I just couldn't sleep. We got in bed like around 11 o'clock. Like Christian was asleep at like 12, you know, like after kind of scrolling and just chatting. And I like literally couldn't sleep. I got up to pee at like two, three o'clock and I still couldn't sleep. And then finally I kind of slept for like an hour or two. Woke up again to pee at like six. Came back to bed and like just kind of laid there, scrolled, watched some YouTube, and then kind of fell back asleep and then I woke up again by 10. Like I, I, it was so crap and like my stomach was just non-stop. Like either the baby was kicking or like it just felt like just so much going on inside or she was moving like crazy or then it was like pelvis pain. Like it was just everything and I couldn't like not concentrate on it like i couldn't turn my brain off and so it's pretty crap and so i took a nap this morning at around 11 for like two hours and then showered and got ready so 
the weather is really nice today it's like 14 degrees out and like sunny so we're gonna take a walk later because i haven't taken a walk in a little bit because i've been so tired and the weather hasn't been the greatest so that'll be nice but yeah that's kind of the update and we'll see how this week goes okay we're gonna start our fry fest but we want to make onion rings from scratch, sweet potato fries, and then regular fries. And so we're looking up a recipe to do that because I don't know how to do that stuff. Pretty sure I'm kind of recipe. Okay, update on the fry fest. I made the batter for the onion rings and Christian's cutting the onions right now into rings, obviously. And the batter was literally one egg, milk, oil, salt, baking powder, flour. Boom, 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 boom. Mix until smooth. So that's just on the side. Christian cut all the potatoes, the regular ones, and I put some garlic powder, salt, and black pepper, and I'm just gonna mix it all up. I don't think I'm gonna add any other spices, like maybe a chili if I can find one, but otherwise that's perfect. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with the sweet potatoes, and then we're gonna start frying. That's all that we have to prep. So we got this huge pot and I'm literally just pouring oil in to heat up. Okay, update on the fry fest. Basically what we're doing is, pot one, at least for the sweet potatoes, is cooking them so that they're actually like cooked through. And then our deep fryer is making them crispy. And we found that that's what works. Otherwise, if this is too hot, they burn. <laughs> and then we already finished our fries, which came out so good. Onion rings, which we're gonna finish up. And then we're gonna do chicken nuggets and mozzarella sticks. So because I'm too controlling over the cooking, Christian bought me a stool so I can sit and watch my lovelies. So now we're doing the chicken nuggets and the moth sticks. <laughs> Everything's turning out really, really good though. Really good. Woo! Fry Fest is ready. Chicken nuggets, mozzarella sticks, sweet potato fries, onion rings, regular fries. <laughs> yeah? Oh my god, I'm so hungry. <laughs> Grab your plate and just come serve yourself. Okay, how is it? So good. <laughs> good? It's tasty. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh my god, okay. Dinner was a success, but wow. My body is not happy, I guess, with like all the standing I did. Like, I literally feel like I can't stand up. Whew, pregnancy, man. Not easy. To wrap up. I'm really glad with how everything turned out. My family loved it. Everything was actually really delicious. We have tons of leftovers. So Fry Fest was a success. Fry Fest was a success. Ooh, that's hard to say. Oh, anyway, see you guys tomorrow for my OB appointment. So. <sighs> just got back from my OB appointment or not just like got back in the car and updated Christian and thought I would update here now for the vlog um everything's great like with the baby and with me like head is still down like literally the same as last week everything's perfect the baby is good to come um but one update that we did get from last week is last week I was saying how I was really happy that we're like my hospital is having birthing partners and that that wasn't going to be like a whole thing. Um, but this week now the update is that yes, you are allowed to have your birthing partner. Um, but like they'll have to leave after the delivery. So basically how the process is gonna work is like this like this is how it was explained to me when I go into labor and you know it's like legit and I go to the hospital to check in 
when I go to check in, Christian can't come. So I have to go and they're gonna like check me out if I am dilated enough, if they're actually gonna check me in or send me back home. If they decide to check me in, then Christian can now come in with me to the labor and delivery room. And then obviously we wait for the baby to come, which is great and amazing. So this is how it'd be for whoever your birthing partner is. And then after that and after delivery and after everything is like good, then Christian has to leave or whoever your birthing partner has to go. Because when I moved to the postpartum room, he's not allowed to be there. Like, it's not like he comes with me and then leaves. They have no visitors there. And I was not prepared for that. And I'm really upset about it for me and for Christian. And so just processing that. And, like, I know, like, it could be worse, obviously. But, like, it really sucks. So that's the update from my appointment. You know, I came, I came back into the car and like told Christian and like, honestly had a pretty good cry. Like I was just so like not expecting it. Like from last week, like, you know, I thought at least we were not going to have any like visitors, like, but at least I'll have me and Christian for the whole experience, no issue. And so it was just like jarring to be like, okay, wait. Like, after delivery, he has to leave. Like, not immediately after, but, you know, once I'm moving. Which, depending on how my delivery goes, could be, like, maybe an hour, a few, like, a few hours or so. And I know that there's, like, places, or at least there were places, you know, like that I was talking about last time in, like, Quebec where they weren't allowing birthing partners. But most of those places have rescinded that. So as far as I know, like, I mean, most places are allowing you to have your birthing partner because it would be ridiculous not to. At the same time, so grateful that he gets to be there at all, you know? And, like, I don't want to, like, diminish my own feelings because, like, I'm allowed to feel, like, sad and upset about this. Because the whole experience that I thought I was going to have when giving birth to my child is now changed. You know, so I don't know. I'm just trying to kind of process everything and be okay with the situation. I just feel like robbed for Christian. I just, I feel sad for like me and Christian, like... I'm upset for like both of us like I'm upset that he is like his experience of also you know having his child come into this world is now changing from what he you know thought it was gonna be like and then obviously the same for me and it's like I don't know it just really sucks hello it is a few days later I'm clearly feeling better um hi <laughs> there are 10 days 10 days away from this baby's due date <laughs> um so going out for a drive christian's waiting for me i'm pregnant i can't run <laughs> you're so annoying uh -huh. <sighs> You know what we do need? Can we go to McDonald's and get ice cream cones? Oh my god, yes. Yes, that's how you do a drive. The weather is beautiful, sun shining. So, gonna do a little bit of shopping just cause why not? And get some ice cream. I want, oh man, that's gonna be so good. I haven't had McDonald's ice cream in so long. So, 10 days left. Oh my god. You know, unless she comes early, but I don't think she is. Christian, what do you think? I want you guys to be safe. That is my own concern. I am feeling a bit better after the OB appointment and everything. Uh, Christian's been really sweet, and my parents and my sister were like really sweet about, you know, the whole Christian having to leave thing. And I don't know. It's just like, what am I gonna do? Like, just have to kind of deal with it. But. Yeah, feeling good. Ready to give birth to this baby. 
Thank you. So McDee's isn't doing ice cream cones anymore. They don't do that. And I'm saying, my assumption is because usually when they do it, they just hold the ice cream cone, swirl it for you, give it to you. And so I guess they're trying to obviously limit the contact with the thing you're gonna eat, especially. So I just got it in a cup, which is nice. And like they just charge you as if you're getting a cone. They didn't charge us like a McFlurry that's plain or something. Yummy apple pie though? Mm -hmm. mm, always good. Ooh, okay, so we just got back from the drive. This is how I'm looking with these 10 days left. We big <laughs> and heavy, but excited. <laughs> um, I just, I can't wait. Like, I can't believe it. And then literally, it's all I can think about. <laughs> so, I can't wait to meet you, baby girl. And I'm gonna end this vlog here. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.